Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Dell Inspiron 3481 and the regulatory model for this one is an P89G and that information can be found at the bottom sticker of the laptop and in this video I'm gonna go over how you can open it up and how you can replace the battery or remove the battery or if you want to just remove it completely and this is not going to affect your system or anything like that you can use the laptop without the battery that will be totally fine with no issue even it's going to work a little better it will last you longer the component is going to be less component working the charger is going to last you long because there will be no more in the, it won't be much load on it so yeah so most people ask me can i use it without the battery absolutely yes and it's even better for the charger or for the motherboard all right so let's get into it and open it up first thing first you want to power it up and you want to flip it upside down and you want to grab yourself the screwdriver set i'll be using an iFixit screwdriver set as they have one of the best screwdrivers out there these are made out of s2 classy steel that means they will last you many years you want to grab a phillips number one if you get the pro set they will include you with an opening tools and some tweezers but if not get the basic and for the opening tool i'll be using a guitar pick the guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers all right down here we're going to remove all the screws and loosen up three screws only because the three screws only have a c lock that means the screws will not come out entirely and those are the screws on the left side when you're looking upside down the fan at the back these screws right over here this one this one and this one they have a little c lock that will prevent the screws coming out pretty much all you need to do is just rotate rotate until you hear a tiny click and you want to let go same thing click let go Peel, click let go now the rest of the screws will come out entirely so go ahead and remove them they are all the same size and height so don't worry about mismatching them also if you guys like my video and you want to support the channel you can do that by clicking that like and subscribe i'll greatly appreciate it it helps and motivates me to make more videos take requests and answer your questions in the comment area all right, now that we removed the screws right over there. Now, the reason that they have a C-lock on here is not just for fun. It's because once you open it up, the C-lock, what it does, it will push the cover away from the palm rest and it's easier for you to remove. So all you need to do is just continue putting the opening tool between the palm rest in here and just uh, rotate like this backward and work yourself all around in the front end. So pretty much I'm just working around and loosening up the cover do that to the front and to the side towards the back and then close up the screen now you want to grab it from the front side and bring it up wiggle it around and it will release the bottom case right there now right down here you're going to see the battery right in front of you the battery is a 42 watt hour battery 11.4 volt and it says 11.4 volt but in here it says 13.35 volt 3000 3500 milliamp power the model for this one it's wdx0r so i'll try to get the link uh, for the new battery i'll put in the video description if you guys need to purchase yours to remove the battery first we're going to disconnect it from the motherboard by putting two fingers right at the connector right here and pulling it back and then lifting it up next you want to remove one two three four screws that are touching in on each corner of the battery so remove the four screws these are really short screws and if you guys wanted to where is the bios battery this is the bios battery you do not need to replace this this will be replaced every six to seven years they will last you many years so yeah so now once you remove the screws just lift up and bring up the battery and there's your battery once you get the new battery you're not gonna get this cable this cable comes apart so all you need to do is to pull it backward straight and there's your separation so once you get the new battery you want to put this connector right in through here push it all the way in and is thing it goes is for the speaker if this thing comes out i don't know why it came out it's for the speaker all you need to do is to lift up the speaker and squeeze this one right through the gap here 
to absorb the vibration and bring it up and stick it right there. I don't know even how it came out. So yeah. So you want to put the battery right in here in its place. Set it down. Grab the connector evenly. You want to push it towards the motherboard and towards the jack. Just pinch it right through there. And then put the four screws for the battery. And the proper use of the battery for the initial charging usage. You do not want to power on the laptop right away. You want to keep it in an off state, powered off mode. And you want to connect the charger, leave it there for at least four to five hours for it to completely charge. And then after that, you can turn it on and use as you wish. All right, once you finish with that, just grab the bottom cover, put it on top, and just pinch the corners down. Make sure you hit those big clicks on the back side. You don't want to push on this side. The screws are going to do the job. Just screw it down and it will pull the palm rest to itself. The same thing. And at the end is to just put the rest of the screws on the rest of the screw holes on the bottom cover. And I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys to replace your battery for your Dell Inspiron 3481. If you guys have any question or request, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Just gonna finish up putting up these screws.